world where indie moguls can afford the services of professional voice actors. Where ninjas, zombies, and secret agents need really cool trailers. One man has stepped forward to accept the challenge. One man has offered to help. And that man is me. Hi, I'm TAMBRM1016 and this is my voiceover demo video. I noticed recently that there seems to be a great need for people to do voiceover work on the forums and I thought I'd try to do my part to help people out. I guess you could just say this is my way of trying to pay all of you back for all the help you've given me and to be honest it's been quite a bit. Well anyways, here's a few more examples of some of my voiceover work. I hope you enjoy it. Once upon a time, little green men from outer space decided to invade the planet Earth with their mothership. They were led here by the high-powered radio missions we had been sending out since the 1930s, but that didn't really matter because they were from Mars and could see us with cheap telescopes like the kind you can buy at Walmart anyways. The alien overlord interrupted our television shows to tell us that they were taking over. He also said something about brains. As the aliens began their invasion, the world's military forces attempted to fight back. Unfortunately, our weapons were useless because the aliens had invulnerable force fields protecting their ships, just like in Star Trek and that stupid movie, Independence Day. The alien overlord was furious. He stomped up and down, shook his fists, screamed and yelled, and used naughty language. Then he had a light snack. Then, he ordered the destruction of the human military-industrial complex. Although the military forces of the planet Earth fought bravely, the aliens' advanced technology made them invincible. And since a UFO didn't really crash in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947, we didn't have any reverse-engineered alien technology of our own to fight back with. Once the military had been defeated, the aliens were able to begin their rampage throughout the cities of Earth, enslaving the human race. And since there is no such thing as Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster, they were unable to help us either. When the alien invaders had completed their conquest of Earth, they drank all of our water and ate our brains. The End Warning! The following song contains profanity and is not suitable for children under 18 years of age, small pets, insulin-dependent diabetics, Jehovah's Witnesses, professional skydivers, stunt drivers, adults with a blood alcohol level under 0.08%, employees of the Danish Postal Service, college students, pizza delivery boys, politicians, clergy, your parents, reptiles, Anyone whose wait, name wait, wait, starts with on, the letter on, Q. On, stop, 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 stop! What's wrong? What are you doing? I'm doing the disclaimer. Says who? The legal department. We, we don't have a legal department. Besides, you're not even a real person. You're just my conscience. If you say all those things, no one's going to listen to the song. So, I'm just trying to protect us from liability. Look, look, this is music. The whole idea is the free expression of ideas, of thoughts, feelings, you know, creativity. I'm just trying to keep us out of trouble. You drop like 50 F-bombs in this song. Yeah, 78, actually. You counted? Of course I counted. Besides, Chappie asked me to write so, the song. now you're trying to blame it on your friends? Look, just play the song. Fine. This has been a public service announcement from the planet Drakkar. Use TAMBRM 1016 or die.